Who's ready for another RV trip? To our first destination in Torrey, Utah, at the Thousand Lakes RV. What's it called? RV Park. We may have picked up an extra passenger. Oh, no. Get in your bed, Lincoln. How many times have I put you to bed? Get up there and lay, lay down. Hopefully you guys are okay in uh, this. This is wild. We've never had a toy hauler before. So have fun. <laughs> what? Oh, do you want the curtain? Check? No, we're not doing the curtain. You guys are just. Uh, I think I would feel off. more comfortable if I like had it when open. When all the lights are off, it'll be dark. Here, are these the lights? Yeah, turn them both down. Yes. <laughs> yeah, just keep it like that. Okay. Good night. This feels really weird having him sleep above yeah. that. Um, if you need to get out in the middle of the night, Start watch the where you engine. Step. I would prefer to not have my four wheeler ruined by you. Good night, lady. Bobby, can I go say hi to Grandma and Grandpa? No, stay no let's just let them be. Grandma's birthday. The hot chocolate. <laughs> we have cousin Chad. Baby. <laughs> Uncle Joe. Happy birthday. Ew. <laughs> it's Grandma's birthday. Are we having fun yet? Mm. <laughs> it's a fun to squish like in here. Oh, yeah. oh, I'll give that to Daddy then. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln, right. Okay, you gotta down. eat your oatmeal. After or... you eat your breakfast, sit down. Eat your omelet all the way gone first. Mm. Yummy bon. Is this your first ever bag omelet? My joke. <laughs> My dad's the human marker, trying to find a way to get where we need to go. Oh, this is stressful. <laughs> we made it to our second night destination. This is Swing Arm City, just outside of Caneville, Utah, where you can ride a four-wheeler or dirt bike anywhere you can drive it up. And we will be boondocking camping here for the next two nights until we go home. Okay, now mama's on top of this. Let me hop down. got creative and this is the present he's giving to grandma. <laughs> All right. Okay. Lincoln brought me a present. Lincoln. I'm you trying to... It? Come here. Go around and give grandma a big hug and kiss. Tell her happy birthday. Oh! It's Lincoln! I love it! 
Did you look all over the place for one of these? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, no. From my hair, you can tell that it has been super, super windy outside. I wanted to show you guys a layout of, well, I'll start back here. I wanted to show you a layout of the trailer really fast. So you come in and you've got your couch right here and the kitchen area right here. And we showed you this a little bit where we had the four wheelers in here. I mean, it's messy. We could make it a lot more homier, but we've just been casually, just whatever. So. This bed will scoot down, so there's a bunk bed up there. I, does that turn into a bed? I think you. I think that it may does. turn into a bed there. Okay, so you've got a bed here, a bed here. I think we're gonna keep it just as a table area. A bed up here for one of the kids. And then the bathroom on this one is bigger than ones we've had in the past. Um, so there's a little bit more space in here. And normally we try and keep it a little homier and like cozier, but we, I mean, it's just chaos, okay? It's just chaos. I'm just showing you the layout. But anyway, that's where Joel and I sleep, and there's tons of storage right here. So, I don't know, maybe Joel can give his thoughts on if he would rent a toy hauler again. I don't think that I, I personally don't really love the toy haulers just because it's, yes, it's more living space, but it's kind of like dirty, harsh living space. It's not really clean and cozy. So that's just my personal preference, but anyway. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear grandma. Happy birthday to you. Well, I bought this for you because I wanted it for myself. So I thought, well, wow. I'm sure she'll like it if I, I want know it. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. I thought you could wear this to like a Christmas party or something. Oh yeah! Is that not so pretty? And I thought it would go so pretty with like the Bali skirt. Joel made Dutch oven potatoes. He used the recipe from our Griffiths cookbook. We do have. Not very many left, so if you want some, I'll put a link for the book in the description. He made some teriyaki chicken, and this is where we're going to be eating. I didn't realize that the uh, end of this area stretched out onto the balcony. So we're going to have a little birthday dinner. Jingle bells, buttons, smells, rattling. My Sky is sure pretty to wake up to this morning. I'll tell you though, we were up all night with listening to the rattle of the wind. Do you hear that? Oh, that's the generator. <laughs> well, the generator just kicked on, but the wind is typically pretty loud. <laughs> Don't we play truth or dare? <laughs> We're not playing truth or dare. We're not playing truth or dare. It's too early for that. We're playing do what your mom says. It is ridiculously satisfying to smash. You can hear it, you can feel it, and it is amazing. <laughs> Hashtag, well, I don't know. <laughs> We came back into Capitol Reef National Park to do a hiking trail and we met up with our RV friends James and Kim and Cash. You may know them from other videos such as Spring Break 2019 or the 4th of July 2019. They did a few cameos in those videos as well and they brought Jack along with us. This is the original schoolhouse. Look at that. Really nice. It looks like the schoolhouse off Pete's Dragon. teaching us juniper leaves. They'd use this as toilet paper at Anastasi. Took us a while to find parking 
walking and to get situated, but we're on, what is it called, Cassidy Trail? He just said he saw a snake. Did you? I, Joel, I can literally hear it. I could hear it. Let's just keep walking. I could literally hear it though. Well, the only thing we learned from Chad is that uh, <laughs> rattlesnakes will give you lots of warning. Yes, well, the rattlesnakes will, is that what you said? I am yet to pack the right kind of clothing for a trip. It's either too cold or too hot. <laughs> no, I think I was getting dizzy. Mom and dad were getting dizzy. And I just, I don't know how comfortable I feel. We're pretty stinking high up. See that scorpion I was showing you? Well, maybe you couldn't see it. Right here, we're looking straight Wait. down at it. There's not, there's not a scorpion, Chad. It's <laughs> there on the wall. <laughs> Kind of an image you see. Yeah. Oh, image in well, the wall. <laughs> it's a we're all just a little <laughs> nervous up here. Well, and the kids, Cody, stop. Okay, Lincoln, Lincoln. Nope. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Do you guys skull. think that looks like a monkey skull? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and I just realized it with its mouth open. Wow. That's amazing. Chad's getting a bunch of kindling for our fire, and I think it's really cool that that's how his mind is thinking. He's on the trail and seeing what he needs, and I think it's really cool. All right, we are back down at the bottom. This was the uh, thing I was trying to tell you up there, the scorpion. Um, but I bet we were probably somewhere right here-ish. Right here, Bonnie, see the edge. Oh, really? Would you say about, yes, probably right there. Uh -huh. And we did not feel comfortable going to the top. I kind of felt like a wuss. I don't know, it's more important to stay in tune with what's inside and just kind of do with what you think and not worry about if your husband's friend is going to judge you for being wimpy. But my mom was like, Bonnie, you're only th not even three months out from your surgery. And I don't know, we just, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go find a cute place to eat our sack lunch. You guys, that is James right up at the top. I don't know if you can see him. He's waving his arms. That is so funny. And that, my friends, is how far our walkie-talkies can work. Joel's talking to him on the walkie-talkie. I don't even wanna know how far away we are from him. I mean, look, you can't even see him from clear, hardly through the lens, clear down here. That's how far the walkie-talkies work. I'll make sure to put those uh, walkie-talkies in the description for all of you. They are worth every penny. Came down off of that mountain, we found this orchard down here. It's actually an RV park, which is beautiful. But we're gonna sit right under this tree. You wanna take that to Sissy? Okay, take it on over to her. We're gonna, Olivia's laying out a blanket and we're gonna eat our packed lunch under the tree. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Boston? <laughs> yeah. This is perfect. Joel spotted a huge buck out there. Oh my gosh, I just turned around. Lincoln, what you doing? What you doing? Just finishing your lunch? Oh my word. You've been such a good boy on this trip. Do you know that? You my good boy. One sunset probable. We were closer than two. Hey Joel, I'm pretty sure there's no climbing these trees. There is a buck just inches away from this family. This is the moment Cody's been waiting for this entire trip. And every other trip we've had fireworks and said we were going to do them and never did. Moment. Woke up this morning, I think it's cute, the kids are sitting around the campfire. 
What's not cute is someone stole my dad's hitch. Luckily, Joel has an extra hitch that we that might be able to at least just get the trailer out from here because we're several miles in. I mean, you guys have seen where we are parked in this video. We are several miles until we even get the road and then once we get to the road, we are, you know, 45 minutes until we're into a town. We'll be here all night if we have to come back, go into town, buy a hitch and come back, but I think I think Joel will have an extra hitch, but who would steal that? And when did they steal it? Cleanup was not too shabby. I mean, that's coming from the person that wasn't doing the majority of the work. But what we just came to the conclusion was either the hitch, because we drove out of here a couple times without the trailers, either it wiggled its way out or it was stolen. And if it wiggled its way out, then we avoided a huge, huge catastrophe of it not wiggling out when the trailer was on, so that's a blessing. If it was stolen, that really stinks, but I'm super grateful that Joel was prepared and had um, an extra hitch. He actually was going to clean it out of the trailer, but then he just kind of had a feeling to leave it in, so we left it in. So. We know we've been watched over on this trip. We're super grateful that we've all been safe. We're going to call it a vlog. We have another RV travel vlog in the books. Chad, thank you for being a part of it. Hashtag free Chad. <laughs> You're so welcome. It was honestly and truthfully, you kind of made the trip. It was really great. So I mean it. I'm like not even kidding. You are so pleasant to have. The kids, the kids loved having you. Oh, no, lady loved having you. <laughs> yeah, she true. has been in his arms the that's entire true. trip. She's just like oh, <laughs> We were God. we were laughing about the whole free chat thing. Anyway, kind of a joke. Anyway, okay. If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. If you're not subscribed to Grandma and Grandpa Griff, go subscribe and we'll uh, see you guys all later. Bye guys. <clears throat> so we can put free to pack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to be a little Chad. Oh, baby. Joel, you go get it. Maybe it'll just be me and Chad. I yeah, I think that's what it should be. <laughs> I think, you no, Chad, this is what I think you should do, Bon. I think you need to have Chad with his, his hobo stick here yep. on the ground, like this. And I want you like kneeling and being like, and, go like this, go and Bonnie's going to be like, go like, this, mm. go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, come here. here. Okay. Oh, to me? Yeah. No, have him face the camera so they can see him. Yeah. <laughs> Get your hand out, out of his shadow. Hold on. There you go. Yep. Do it again. Hold on. That's amazing. <laughs> Lincoln, step out. Lincoln, step out. Hold Lincoln, on. Let me try. Let me try one more. Hold on. I just want to get make sure I got plenty of parameter. This is a weird. I know this is awful. Hold on. <laughs> Lincoln, look at the camera. Okay. Quick bait. <laughs> yep. Perfect. <laughs>